So the Apostle has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone speak to me in that way. Watch your tongue, Dalmari. Oh, what Apostle. Will you murder me? My family? My entire race? Of course, you are a Zadi. Genocide runs in your blood. Like you, I'm from the West. From the great continent we call Antigua Abba. Land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihadbir. And then Azadir. As though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dalmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antigua, the Western Dolmari, first of my people. And yes, we have met before, Apostle Alvani. I don't think he's lying, but where could we have met? I didn't spend much time in the Northlands before being thrown in the keep, and the only Dolmari I met in Azadir were condemned prisoners and those I fought in battle. None of them ever lived to see another day. Where did we meet? You murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out. And then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards. But I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today. And someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. Light of the Goddess. Are you ready, Kian? I am. Good. Liko and Enu are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. How do they expect me to enter the city and not be recognized, even at night? If any Azadi sees me, they'll sound the alarm in an instant. How do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this. Especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is a Nirhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It, it makes all but the trained eye slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions. When I trained to become an apostle, I was required to learn magic. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember, that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs, in the hidden harbor. But you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. What do you think, Yasadi? Are you looking for anything? Your room is right down the hall. 
Good luck later tonight, Apostle. Uh, Alvani. Uh, Kia. Sir, uh, uh, what do we call you? If we keep losing people without winning any ground... Oh, we didn't see you there. I hope your mission tonight is a success. Best of luck on your mission. You couldn't ask for better companions than Nico and Emma. Do you get seasick? What? Oh, I just want to know if you're going to get all pukey on us, that's all. I have been on a boat before. Good. Then I don't mind sitting next to you. We've wasted enough time. We need to leave. I'll tell you about the mission once we're on our way. After you, Kian. Split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? As I said on the boat we were just on minutes ago, Kian has three tasks. I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's apostle. Liko talked about a large shipment of weapons that must be destroyed. There's a shipment that needs to be destroyed. We've been informed that crates with weapons have arrived from Azadir. Muskets, cannons, gunpowder. They'll move the shipment to the tower barracks in the morning, but for now, it sits just outside the south gates. You need to destroy it, preferably in a way that gets their attention. We want the Azadi off balance and spooked. Basically, as much noise and fire as possible. Think big explosion. There's a traitor in their midst. I need to identify this person before he or she can cause more harm. I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she. Probably frequents the magic ghetto. But he... Uh, she... must be human. Or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hilaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl, uh, woman, person? I'll begin my investigations in the market. I'm supposed to visit someone called The Mole, a code name. This powerful man runs the criminal underworld in Old Town. Where can I find this man they call the Mole? Oh, it's not the a- The Mole's burrow is right here in Shady Quakeon. Ah, right. 
Yes, Kian, you will find the mole close by. He is close by this, this man who is called the mole. Who is a human man, obviously. God save us from zidlings and their lack of subtleties. The mole operates an underground supply network out of the magic ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain uh, good relations. Whatever the mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. It's time to get started. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Anu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the magic market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and Kitten. It's a tavern on I Reed Avenue, right off the Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well, you can probably get lost. Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you... Oh. Goddess, forgive me for this. Hmm. Hmm. That tastes pretty good, to be honest. Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. <laughs> 